All right, everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Vice City and GTA. Today we are taking on the dreaded paramedic missions. Probably my least favourite part of the all the early GTA games. So frustrating. Um, I won't be filming all of it. I'll just film parts. Um, put anything in that was quite funny or painful for me and then just show sort of the last level and explain what you've got to do um, so yeah what I'll do I'll just drive to the, the hospital and then start from there okay so what I've done is actually just made one spawn in by killing a couple of people because they, they just wasn't um, wasn't spawned to, uh, an ambulance in so you just have to hit the R3 button pick people up and drop them off at the ambulance basically the only problem is that you have to do all 12 levels all in one go. If you blow up the ambulance, then you have to start again. If you get arrested, you have to start again. It's just it's a massive pain in the ass, to be honest. Uh, and probably the thing I hate the most out of all of the GTA missions. Let's turn the fucking siren off. Oh, oh. And you can only fit three people in the uh, ambulance at one time, which can be a fucking pain in the ass as well. So no doubt I'll fail it quite a few times. For fuck's sake! No doubt I'll fail it quite a few times, but I'll just cut it all out. You get one in the car, sorry, the ambulance, get a little bit of a time boost and just drive them back. So, obviously, it adds one patient per level. So, on level 12, you have to do 12 patients. So, basically, four trips. And it's slightly less easy to flip the ambulance in this than in GTA 3, but it is still possible, especially if they spawn in on the beach. So you just got to be careful, really. So what the thing I'm probably going to do is just cut to the final level and then just show that. Um, obviously, I'll leave any failures and things like that in just for your entertainment. Um, so I'll see you all on level 12. I've like gone flying. Oh, for God's sake! And we'll start again. For God's sake. Oh, fucking hell, man! Shut up. Oh, I'm flying up in the air. Shit! No! Oh, oh fucking hell! Ciao, coming through. No! Oh, fucking hell! Oh, I was gonna run her over then. No, 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 please. Oh, he's okay. Thank God for that. Jeez, I thought I'd run him over. Please! I'm trying to save people's lives here. I can do about you plowing into my damn car. Uh, yes, this is paramedic one. If the family of the green car calls in for an emergency, refuse them and kill the patients. Preferably in front of the driver of the green car. Whoa! It's 
wrong with these people? Oh, the handling of the attack of the Earth ambulance really goes to shit when the rain starts. It's not what we want. Hopefully, if it rains now, that it won't rain again for the rest of the uh, the run. Might be all right. Might be a blessing in disguise. Oh, for God's sake! Stop crashing into me! Lunatics. Oh, for Christ's sake! Why? Fucking dodgy bit of road. <sighs> Start again. Oh, how has that happened? Come on. Whoa. Whoa, look before you pull out. Fuck is this bullshit? I'm gonna have to run everybody over to get to him. That thing is so you think you or something? Get You're in. Tiny. What is going on? Thank you. Fuck's sake. Okay, here we go then. This is mission level twelve taken about an hour and a half so far maybe a little bit longer um, had some troubles along the way a couple of failures which were from running over people uh, the second one I'm sure was actually absolute bullshit actually thinking about it I'm not even sure I really hit him very hard it was a little bit of a dip in the in the road I sort of just fell into him a bit and it killed him, but whatever. Just got to focus now for this last little bit and get it done. And then we won't have to do it ever again. That will be it forever on this paramedics mission for GTA Vice City. Had a couple of crazy kamikaze drivers as well. So far managed to sort of weather the storm on that front. Don't barge me into them, thank you. This is the worst one, level 12. It's not too difficult time wise, but it's just, you know, any little slip up and you've got to do the whole thing all over again. So I've just got to take it easy, finish it off. been watching um, Gotham recently first season on Netflix seen it before and uh, started watching it with my girlfriend it's, it's pretty good I mean the first four or five episodes you really have to stick with uh, they're a little bit boring while they're setting the scene and introducing all the characters and everything like that but once it gets going it's a it's a pretty good series especially if you're into sort of comic books and Batman and things like that Oh, the ambulance is full. Let's go and drop these off. Uh, but yeah, it sort of introduces a lot of the, the villains and things and shows uh, sort of how they came about being villains. So yeah, if you're a fan of that kind of thing, it's, it's quite good. And then of course The Walking Dead's been uh, back for season 7. Finally up to date with it all. First episode was a little bit, a little bit grim, wasn't it? With the little barbed wire baseball bat thing. I'm not going to drop any spoilers in because I understand some of you probably won't have seen it. Uh, it's a, a couple. Well, I have to say goodbye to at least one character that we know. That's all I'll say. A lot of people were slightly annoyed and disappointed, but 
You know, it's, a, it's a zombie survival series. You can't expect everyone to survive the entire thing, do you know what I mean? People are going to die. Some people's favourite characters are going to die. That's just how it is. I also started watching um, The Young Pope. I'll be honest... I found it a little bit boring. I've only watched sort of three quarters of the first episode, but they're all two hours long, and it just it drags on a little bit. So I don't know whether I'll stick with that. I might sort of finish the first episode and give the second episode a go. But yeah, it's, it's a little bit disappointed with it to be quite honest. Just, I, I feel it's a little bit too long. Each, the episodes two hours for an episode and I think it's got eight parts so it's 16 hours in total which seems quite long there's quite a lot of chatting when nothing's really happening in terms of story or character development oh, I'm sure I don't know it might get better it's, it's meant to be really good but so far a little bit disappointing okay here we go let's drop these guys off I had a policeman spawn in a couple of times here, run him over and had to deal with uh, a couple of stars. Luckily it doesn't seem to be doing it on this level. How many have we got left? Is this the last three or have we got six more? I can't remember. And out of the way. Yeah, I think this might be the last three. Which would be good. Because I'm absolutely starving having spent like almost the last two hours doing this. Did I miss him? Was he on the edge yeah, or is he on the beach? Yeah, he's on the edge. Let's turn around and go and get him. Do not go under a truck. Ambulance. I don't know why I keep calling it a truck. Let's go down here and get this one. The only thing with doing the, the ambulance missions uh, this early in the game is that a lot of them spawn in on the beach. So you do just have to be a little bit careful that you don't hit a dodgy bump and flip it. And also it takes a little while to stop the ambulance. so. Don't go power sliding straight into the, the person you want to be picking up, or you have to start again. And there is our last patient. And now we've just got to get back safely without doing anything stupid. And then we will have done it. Yeah, I also had. Um, my best friend come and stay with us over the weekend, so that was quite cool. Where I live there's a lot of countryside, so we uh, did some nice hikes and things like that. Walked up one of the sort of really big hills, um, up the side of the, one of the valleys. It's a really good view from the top of there. It's about 2,000 feet of climbing. So, not the easiest, but it's, it's not difficult. Yes, and there we go, finally. We've done it and we never have to do it again. $15,000 reward and we've got infinite sprint now as well. The infinite sprint is definitely worth it. It's just a long-winded process and depending on how far in you get before the inevitable before, sorry the inevitable failures it's going to be very very frustrating but there we go we've done it that's going to do it for this episode next time out we're going to take on some of the rampages as always thanks for watching if you enjoyed it click on the like button and i'll see you all in the next one